Toby Dog. How are you doing, buddy? Come here. Come here, Toby Dog. As I went out to do the morning's chores, I noticed a problem with Toby Dog. He was limping. What's wrong with your leg? What's happening? Buddy, 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 are you okay? Oh, no. We are going to have to get that checked out. It had me very, very worried. I rushed through my morning chores and got the other animals set. And then I quickly took Toby Dog off to the emergency vet because it was a Saturday morning. Come on, Toby. Come with me, pal. Come on. Oh. Seems like it's getting worse. All right, let's get you checked out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you go. Is that it's gonna be okay, pal. It's gonna be okay. Hey, we're gonna get you checked out. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry, Toby. We'll be back on the farm in no time at all. Or at least I hope we will. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. He was fine last night, you know, when we were walking around doing cow chores and locking everybody up for the night. He was fine running around doing his normal Toby dog thing. So today, at least when I'm recording this, it's a Saturday. And so that means that I gotta take him to like our emergency vet, our usual vet's only open Monday through Friday. And so they're just about to open. And so I'm rushing over there now to catch them just as they open and hopefully get Toby dog's foot taken care of. All right, Captain Drool Factory, we're here. Let's get you out and get you checked out. Okay, get it down? Okay, okay. I know, lots of scary cars and noises. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let me get you looked at. Hey Janet, um, I have my dog here. I noticed this morning he's got like a really bad limp and I think there's something wrong with either his hip or his foot. So I just wanted to get him checked out. A few minutes later. So Toby's now inside the vets. They're gonna check him out. And I gotta just wait for their phone call. 12 seconds later. Hi, it's Dr. Calling about Toby. Hi there. Hi, Toby's a really nice guy. He's a great dog. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's really, really sweet. Uh, but I heard that he's been kind of uncomfortable and limping. Yep. Um, and did that just start this morning or has it been going on for a little while? I haven't noticed it before, It was, but it was really pronounced this morning when, when I went out to check on him and the other animals like around 5.30. Um, yeah, I haven't noted any, noticed anything at all in the last couple of days otherwise. Okay. So you're not finding um, like a cut a... or any sort of abrasion or anything like that? or. No, his pads all look normal. I don't see anything abnormal um, in his toes or his skin. He's generally uncomfortable um, in all of his joints. He's not specifically painful in like one area. It's not like, you know, if I touch one spot, that's where he's crying. Um, he's just generally sort of stiff and uncomfortable and reluctant to move his joints on the, particularly his left side but he does look uncomfortable in both legs because when he's standing he's shifting his weight a little bit okay so i would definitely be really concerned about lyme with him okay uh lyme disease causes a shifting limb lameness and it causes joint pain okay um so i would recommend that we do some blood work today absolutely um, particularly looking to see if he tests positive for lyme or other tick diseases okay yes do you need to do any x-rays to check for stuff too because i i mean honestly i would rather do kind of the full battery and check out to see what's wrong than than not and, and go conservative to be quite blunt yeah, no, I think that's completely reasonable. So I'll add x-rays. Um, I'll put, you know, full blood work and x-rays together for yeah, you. And it, I think it, it's reasonable to go ahead and do all of that, okay? Let's just get them fully checked out, yeah. Yeah. All right, let me get that together, um, and they'll call you shortly to go over that, okay? All right, thanks, doctor. A few moments later. Hey, hey buddy boy. Hey. Uh, so, so that, the, the pain medication oh. we gave him does kind of make them pant. Yeah. Uh, so that is normal. Um, but he, he was been resting comfortably with a okay. just a little bit panting, so we're going to get him in the car and get him home, hopefully. 
be more comfortable. And I, I did notice that when he gets up, he's a little bit slower. So hopefully. And then after... as he, he gets moving, he was getting better. It's when he yeah. first gets up. I yeah, I, I appreciated that as well. So hopefully when you get him home and start him on those medications after he gets a few doses, you'll see a, a difference. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thanks. Have a great day. You too. Good luck, guys. Have a good day. Come on, Tobes. Come on. Okay, buddy boy, we're back home on the farm. You ready to come out? Or are you so comfy cozy you don't want to come out yet? Yeah. You got it yourself? Okay. All right. Aw, poor buddy. We're home. We're home. Hey, Abby. Come on, Toby. Go. So after I took Toby Dog to the vet, they ended up doing a whole bunch of tests on him. The tests revealed that ultimately Toby Dog has Lyme disease. I just worry about the long-term impacts of Lyme disease. Yes, Lyme disease is treatable and Toby's now been put on a treatment and he'll be taken care of, but unfortunately he's gonna have to be restricted for a while. I'm gonna keep him kenneled up in this space Probably for the next 10 days was what the vet recommended, that he just lay low. No running, no jumping, no doing crazy stuff. It's not that Toby's a crazy dog, but when he goes on guard dog mode, he goes on guard dog mode. You know, as I try to take extreme accountability with all things in my life, I do realize this is my fault. And I had him on sort of a flea and tick prevention program, but it clearly wasn't working well enough. And so now I'm gonna be readdressing flea and tick prevention for all the guard dogs, so both Toby and Abby, as well as all the barn cats. I love these animals way too much to have this potentially impair their quality of life and even potentially shorten their life. And so, yeah, I gotta make some changes there. Toby must have been feeling this the last couple of days and what I noticed this morning was just a further Part of the decline and so i am kicking myself for not noticing sooner you know i was actually supposed to have toby get his full biannual meaning twice a year uh grooming session it's actually supposed to happen on monday unfortunately i'm gonna have to postpone that for maybe a week or two so i'm giving him extra double extra brushing again trying to cut down on this coat doing the best i can so yeah, Toby's gonna have this room right here to sleep in. I just evicted a couple of chickens that were hanging out in here and put some fresh straw down. Now it's time to feed Toby his medicine. All right, Tobes, time for your medicine. Can I get you to eat these? I've got two little pills that are stashed in this. Oh, he doesn't want it. Oh, hey, Molly. You visiting your friend, Toby? Come on. Come on. I need you to eat this, come on. Come on. Tastes like poison! Hey Molly Wobbles. You know, between you and Toby, we've been having an awful lot of vet visits here. Good job, buddy. 
Glad to see you're 